This is a middle loop quick request. class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a quick class by request. If there's one request that we've received more than any other, it's regarding the microphone and system sounds while doing a screen recording on the RC Pro. In this quick class, we'll cover just that. We'll start with the basics. First, we'll cover the shortcut to start a screen recording, as well as a system setting that needs to be set correctly. Then we'll jump into the meat of it with adding a microphone to your screen recording. We tested several. And then we'll cover recording system sounds while doing a screen recording. If you find this video useful, hitting subscribe in the lower right will help you find all of our DJI tutorials. And tapping that like icon helps others find it too. Now, let's get started. This quick class focuses mostly on the screen recorder that comes with the RC Pro. There will be one exception towards the end where we'll discuss a third-party app, but everything else is in reference to the out-of-the-box screen recorder. There is a shortcut to start and stop a screen recording. To start a screen recording, push and hold the back button. While holding down the back button, push the record button. And to stop the recording, use the same shortcut. Let's talk about settings. There's one setting that needs to be set in order to record audio during screen recordings. From the desktop, Tap Settings, then tap Sound. Then all the way to the bottom is the Screen Recording with Audio setting. By default, this should already be set to On, but if you're having difficulty, check here first. The RC Pro does not have a built-in microphone, but it does support plugging in an external mic. Now, we've read a lot of posts where people have had trouble with mics overfeeding the input, resulting in extreme distortion. In all of our testing, we've never had this issue, and we're not sure if it's the microphones that we're using or if DJI has fixed the problem as part of a firmware update. Now, we've checked the release notes of firmware updates, and they've never explicitly said that they fixed this issue. But if you're having this issue, make sure you're on the latest firmware version. At the time of this recording, we're running version 03.01, Dot zero eight zero zero. As for the mics we're using, you'll find links to each in the description. We'll be covering a number of combinations, from wired to wireless, from lavalier to desktop mics, and for grins, we also try Bluetooth using Apple's AirPods with some interesting results. The prices on the mics we tested ranged from $60 to $329. Sennheiser is a good name in audio. Of course, at $60, this mic is not exactly top of the line, but let's take a listen to the recording we did on the RC Pro. This is a test of the Sennheiser lavalier microphone on the RC Pro. The only downside to this microphone is that it's wired, but it is a lavalier which clips onto your lapel. It comes with a USB-C connector which plugs into the bottom of the RC Pro so that the wire hangs out of the way. The sound is pretty good, and at $60, it's the least expensive of all the mics we tested. Let's move on to the Blue Yeti. Now this is a desktop microphone, so you're not likely to take it into the field, but for doing screen recordings at home on the RC Pro, this is a great microphone at $130. Let's listen. This is a test of the Yeti Blue desktop microphone. This mic has a very warm presence and has been a go-to mic for podcasters for years. So when it's not plugged into the RC Pro, you could use it on your computer for a really nice sound. It comes with a mic stand and a selector for multiple microphone patterns. It also has a volume control for the mic. We've gotten the best results on the RC Pro, setting it to about 25%. A couple of quick notes. The cable that comes with it has a USB-A type connector, so you'll need a USB-A to USB-C adapter to plug it into the RC Pro. We'll provide a link to the one we use in the description. You should also be aware that when plugged into the RC Pro, non-critical system sounds like this one, the home point has been updated, please check it on the map, no longer come out of the RC Pro's speaker. Instead, they're redirected to the headphone jack on the microphone. And yes, critical sounds like the low battery warning do still come through the RC Pro's speaker. So we wanted to find a wireless microphone that was easy to use and where you could mount the receiver to the RC Pro without it getting in the way. So we tested the DJI wireless mic system. It is the most expensive mic we tested on the RC Pro. And I gotta tell you, it exceeded our expectations. Let's give it a listen. This is a test of the DJI wireless mic. The first thing that surprised us is the size of the receiver. It's small and light, and comes with a USB-C connector that plugs right into the USB port of the RC Pro. This is what it looks like when it's attached. 
and there's no need for additional mounting hardware. Now at $329, it is a bit pricey, but you are getting two microphones. So if you want, you can record in stereo. Or if your battery dies, you'll have a fully charged backup. Plus, this mic was designed to be used with a DSLR. It plugs right into the microphone input of the camera. We've seen a lot of YouTubers who've switched over, and with two mics, it's great for interviews or shooting weddings. And there are a lot of other great features packed into this wireless system. One quick note. Like the Yeti we covered earlier, when you plug this into the RC Pro, non-critical system sounds no longer come through the RC Pro speaker. It does have a headphone jack, but unlike the Yeti, you only hear the microphones in the headphones, no system sounds. If hearing the non-critical sounds is important to you, we have a somewhat kludgy workaround that we'll cover in a minute. Knowing that the RC Pro has Bluetooth capability and Apple's wireless earbuds are a Bluetooth device, for fun we thought we'd give it a try. To our surprise, we were able to pair the two. However, the bad news is we weren't able to get the microphone on the AirPods to work as a microphone on the RC Pro. Unexpectedly though, we were able to hear the RC Pro's system sounds on the earbuds, which, albeit kludgy, does solve the problem we mentioned earlier with the DJI mic and system sounds. We should also mention that we've heard others who've tried a Bluetooth microphone on the RC Pro and have not been able to get it to work. So it's possible that Bluetooth on the RC Pro is a one-way thing. Now we were able to pair a Bluetooth speaker, which worked great. We've received a lot of questions regarding recording the system sounds of the RC Pro while doing a screen recording. So we tested it and verified that yes, system sounds do not get captured on the RC Pro screen recording. To double check, we contacted DJI support and they responded, sorry to let you know the sound cannot be recorded. Well, it's nice to know we're not crazy. So we started looking at third-party apps, and sure enough, we were successful recording the system sounds on the first one we tested, the ADV Screen Recorder app. Now, unfortunately, this app and another we tested do not allow recording both the microphone and system sounds simultaneously. The option is to record one or the other. Now, there's probably an app out there that does both on an Android device, and if you're aware of one, please let us know in the comments, and we'll be sure to pass it along in the description. As a side note, both apps that we tested have the additional benefit of allowing you to save your screen recordings to the external micro SD card, whereas the built-in screen recorder only allows writing to internal memory. If you're interested in a video on how to install third-party apps on the RC Pro, we'll provide a link at the end of this video to that video. Just keep in mind you should always proceed with caution when installing third-party apps. That does it for this quick class. If you haven't already and you found this video useful, subscribing will help you get to our entire DJI series. And if you click that like button, it'll help other drone pilots find it too. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying. Thank you.